that was our first no excuses. rehearsal together, by the way. It was, but hey. So I hope I don't mess up the last half. Oh, come on, it's K King Street, they won't mind. Yeah, okay. It's called Small Town Murder Songs by Ed Gastonley, who wrote, uh, directed, produced. Ed and I have a mutual friend named Ryan who texted me one day to say, oh, my friend uh, Ed is a great filmmaker and he's looking for an actress for this film. Would you care to check out the script? And I texted him right back, please, please send me a great script. That would be amazing. appreciated filmmakers who see f music as another character in the film and Ed has always done that if you look at his first film uh, this beautiful city I, that's one of the reasons why I love that film and uh, he'd always mentioned that music would be a, another character in the film and so when he got Bruce Peninsula I was so thrilled he sent me an edit of a, a trailer and he had Bruce Peninsula throughout it, it had such incredible impact man it, it was so perfect for this I just even in the screens I found myself stomping my foot and moving and I realized am I the only person doing this or but uh, it just it's infectious brilliant music I wish I could cut my I guess playing in the Bathurst Street subway station uh, in December one year was about a week, two weeks before Christmas, and people were very generous. And uh, one police officer actually came by to request uh, a Joni Mitchell song. I started playing. He started to cry. Um, hopefully not because the song was bad, or my performance, I should say. Um, and then a, a gentleman walked by around the same time and put a big Foster's oil can of beer in my guitar case. And uh, I also got lipstick. That day I also had cosmetics put in my guitar case as well. So I earned money, I got a Foster's oil can, and I had a really emotional bonding experience with an OPP officer. Like a stranger, you so out of place. 
I'll do high. <laughs> comfortable playing other people's music okay, and uh, writing my own material was a really terrifying kind of thing to, to contemplate and uh, but I thought at one point especially after having my first child I thought what am I really afraid of here uh, I should just get off my derriere and uh, and start doing it and it, it ended up being one of the most satisfying things I've ever done in my life my life goes on just like before thank you in and out of closing doors 